So tell me about what life was before dancing and what got you into dancing. So life before dancing, I was in high school, played a lot of video games and just gained a lot of weight. And my first experience of dancing was at a high school pep rally. I saw someone do a backflip and I'm like, I thought that had to be done with wires in Hollywood. <laughs> and realizing that it could be done by a high school student, I wanted to get into it. And I practiced. I talked to the dance team and said, hey, are you guys doing rehearsals? Can I join? Are you doing invites? And uh, they hosted sessions every Tuesday inside of a classroom on carpet, which is probably not the best idea. So let's go back to before you started dancing in high school. You said you had kind of gained some weight. You weren't, like, where was your headspace and all that? Uh, it was probably not at its best. Uh, back in high school, uh, I played a lot of video games. I wasn't at my best because my computer was right next to the mirror and there was this one night where I was playing World of Warcraft. I looked at the mirror and I was probably like 20 pounds, 30 pounds over my normal weight. And I was just like, who am I? And I just needed to change, quit playing video games. Kind of about the community maybe that brought you and how that started to encourage you on the right track. Okay, so the cool thing about dance is dance brings everyone together of all cultures. So going in there, seeing all different types of faces and everyone relate to each other, wanting to just get into the dance. There was no politics, no other motive. It was just, hey, we're all dancing. We're all trying to do cool things. And that's what got me hooked in. And then was your, was your motive there to change your appearance or is it really just to kind of find a new family and that was a benefit, a side benefit as well? <laughs> so my motive in high school was let's just do a backflip because we're all high schools, we just wanted to do cool things but I guess the plus side, the hidden benefit was finding a community to just join and get together with. Did you ultimately do your backflip? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do my backflip. Uh, that was an interesting story. All right, so then you segued to college, and that's when you started to really kind of take it more seriously. Yes, so uh, back in college, or during college, during college, I reconnected with one of the members from that dance team, and he hosted sessions uh, at a dance studio that he worked in. Uh, he opened that dance studio to the public, Every night from 7 to 9 p.m., just a session, get your moves in, and that's what I did. Was there a low point after you started taking more seriously where you're like, I'm just gonna quit, forget this? There have been times where I felt like quitting dancing um, with anything you're working at or anything that I'm working at. I feel like there are moments of plateauing, and that plateau is rough, where nothing is improving and it feels hopeless. I had to just drive through the plateau. I had to repeat, repeat until I could break through it. And so now you dance regularly. Um, what does that do for you now that you're kind of on the other end of it and you do it all the time? What, how does it make you feel? What, what, what makes you keep dancing even though you're not on a dance team anymore? Like, what's, what's your, your headspace there? Uh, why I dance now, it is my escape. Uh, Maybe the work day is a little bit too rough. At home is a little bit stressful. I just want to take an hour away from everything and just release that energy that's inside of me and we're on the dance floor. And just getting it out is definitely one of the best feelings. It's a, it's a runner's high. I, I feel like you've achieved some kind of balance now that mm -hmm. you didn't have before. So how does that work? So, I went back into gaming and I try to balance out my priorities and values with gaming, dancing, anything I see as creative. Uh, what I learned from dancing is uh, it is a catalyst to my creativity. I can pull ideas into it, I can take ideas out of it and express it with everything else that I'm interested in. That's nice. Just for, as a maybe other option to fill that, um, 
Is there anybody, so like back in high school, that, that person that did that backflip was like your, wow, I wanna do that. Have you noticed or have you been that to anybody else? Has anybody ever reached out to you on social or said, wow, your determination, what you do is making me want to do X, Y, and Z? Is, that's an interesting question. Uh, yes, there are people that on social media, they'll say, hey, uh, thanks for doing what you're doing. Very inspiring, you know. I'm dancing because of you. I'm doing this. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. And your thoughts and your motives are helping me out. Mm -hmm. So I have a little catchphrase that I close out all my social media content with. It's keep being awesome. The real story is, uh, Keep Being Awesome was just from an episode of How I Met Your Mother, where uh, the character Barney, he says, when I, stop, uh, when I feel sad, I stop being sad, and I'd be awesome instead. And I thought that was just the coolest thing ever, to just keep being awesome and telling people, hey, just keep being awesome. That implies that they're already awesome, they're just going to keep doing what they're doing.